Folks, it's my great honor and a personal privilege to welcome back Vivek Kundra, who now is the U.S. Chief Information Officer working out of the White House, and welcome, sir. Thank you very much for having me. We have been delighted to follow your success. You were Assistant Secretary over in the Commonwealth of Virginia, Chief Technology Officer, District of Columbia, and now you are the Chief Information Officer for the United States. We congratulate you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your job. Exactly what do you do? Sure. So the president uh, has committed to making sure that uh, we leverage the power of technology uh -huh. to move this country forward. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, the president appointed a chief information officer and a chief technology officer. The role of the CIO is focused on four core areas. Uh -huh. Number one is effectively managing the $76 plus billion dollar IT portfolio in the federal government. Uh -huh. Number two, it's to make sure from a cybersecurity perspective mm -hmm. that the federal government uh, has advanced a security posture mm -hmm. as we move more and more of our processes to the digital world. Mm -hmm. Number three, we're focused on leveraging technology for transparency, open government, and a participatory democracy. Mm -hmm. And lastly, is to use technology to drive innovation, efficiency, and effectiveness to serve the American people. So you landed at the White House. What was the first thing that you did? What did you handle? Well, one of the key things we handled, if you recall, in February, a, a focus was on the Recovery Act. That's right. Uh, and the president has committed to making sure that the Recovery Act and its implementation is transparent, it's open, so the American people know how taxpayer dollars are being spent. So with the Office of, on the office of Management and Budget, making sure that as taxpayer dollars are being spent, one of the first areas I focused on was figuring out how we deliver on the President's agenda of uh, being transparent around those expenditures. You know, I have been on the recovery.gov site. And uh, I'm impressed. It's extremely nice. But do you force the states to follow the same guidelines or same web uh, structure that you can see? So now the recovery.gov website is actually being managed by an independent board, uh, uh -huh. the recovery board. Mm -hmm. um, and it is coordinating with the states and mm -hmm. local governments mm -hmm. in terms of being transparent and open about expenditures, mm -hmm. whether it's at a state level or a local level. Now you said you have made investments of $76 billion in your IT portfolio. Can you break it down as to where are you all spending that money? Sure. So the U.S. government is spending money on, uh, on every aspect of government operations from Department of Defense, yeah. which uh, spends about uh, $38 billion in information technology, to health and human services, to Department of Education and Energy. Uh -huh. And across the board, these investments are essential to make uh -huh. sure that we move the federal government to the uh -huh. 21st century. It must be quite challenging for you because I know that the agencies, all the federal agencies, they used to buy their own technology and everybody loved a different system. A new architect came and sold them a different system. Now, how are you going to make sure they're all merged together, become one technology, your vision? So part of this is grounded in the president's philosophy mm -hmm. around a transparent and open government. Mm -hmm. What we did immediately in this administration is we launched the IT dashboard. Mm -hmm. If you looked at how $76 billion were being managed historically, you essentially had a, a site mm -hmm. with uh, a number of documents on it that would tell you that $30 billion of IT projects were in trouble. Mm -hmm. Now what we've done is we've changed the default setting on IT expenditures from that of being secret, closed, and opaque mm -hmm. to that of being transparent, open, and participatory. And what you're able to see on the IT dashboard is all the investments, all the major investments in information technology across the federal government. Mm -hmm. You can literally go to every single agency. You'll see the real picture of the CIO who's responsible for the investment. You'll also see the contractor that's working on that investment, when they received the contract, what was the change order, how much the contract was for. This is consistent with the President's promise of uh, opening up Washington mm -hmm. and also recognizing that we don't have the best ideas and a monopoly and the best thinking around how to run these IT projects. 
So we've invited the public to help us think through some of these really, really difficult issues. Most of the folks are affected by the war on the economy and the war on health care. Uh, what is government doing uh, in trying to make sure that everybody's informed where the economy is going? How can we tell? Newspapers are telling up and down every single day. So who do we follow and where do we go to look for that information? So another initiative that we've put out there is uh, data.gov. Mm -hmm. And on data.gov, you can find uh, statistics mm -hmm. on uh, the economy. Mm -hmm. um, we've got data from every aspect of government operations, from toxic release levels mm -hmm. at the EPA to the Bureau of Labor Statistics that releases uh, mm -hmm. job numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one area to find that information. Mm -hmm. And also, if you go to whitehouse.gov, uh, the president is continuously communicating about the status of the economy, where we are, what the statistics look like, mm -hmm. and of course on recovery.gov you can see how taxpayer dollars are being spent across the country. And the results of that. Absolutely. Okay. You know, we get thousands of spam emails. Everybody's trying to break into our computers. I'm sure you guys are no different. Thousands of attempts are made. So how do you protect yourself from fraud? What do you do that we ordinary folks can pick up on it and follow your suit? Well, one is the, the Federal Trade Commission is actually very, very much focused on this issue. Mm -hmm. um, and secondly, if we think of fraud more broadly, um, one of the guiding principles is that uh, sunlight is the best disinfectants. That's right. And so if you look at these initiatives, part of what we're trying to do, whether it's the IT dashboard or data.gov, is really opening up uh, the operations of government uh -huh. so everybody can engage, everybody can participate and now more than